<laughs> I am a cult. I'm a fucking cult. I just don't know what I'm selling yet. That's that's what I haven't figured out. Kool -Aid. Is it it's Kool-Aid. It's what Kool -Aid. kind of Kool-Aid? Like, what are they buying? <laughs> okay, let's talk it's, about this for a second. This is important to me. So let's not they're buying, treat it. But they're buying, they're buying a different experience. That says, I want something that's outside the norm. Okay. So I can I live with that cold. Yeah. Yeah. I can you should. Live. Because, you yeah, should, because man. it's like when I think about it, like when I say that, I immediately like pull back. I'm like, I don't want to be a fucking cult leader. But if it's like I'm not trying to sell them religion. I'm not trying to sell them like any kind of God because I'm not in a position to do that. I'm just trying to sell them like, hey, online is important. Online identity is something that you think about. And telling stories yeah. in an interesting way is probably valuable. Right? Well, when you do that, you, you, you elevate the, the, the students and the people you work with. I mean, you, you put them above you, actually. Well, I mean, the only person I really care about in this world is Rowan Peter. <laughs> <laughs> He's I'm maybe the he's maybe the only <laughs> single person I care about. And what's really hurt me, and I think I've walked around like a wounded deer all semester, is because Rowan Deer I mean Rowan Deer, <laughs> Rowan Peter decided to have a fucking kid while DS one oh six is going on, which I thought was very, very selfish. How dare he? Unbelievable. Poor, did he, poorly timed. Did he Quite frankly, did he name his child Bava? <laughs> he didn't. He didn't even name <laughs> Alex. Of all things, <laughs> which is which is Australian for Bava. <laughs> it's, that, it's that accent working. Brilliant. Now, I, I, sorry, men. I've been. I must apologize, men. I've been. I've been. Uh, talking to you guys and having a great time, but I haven't been paying attention to the Twitter stream and I saw that Dr. Cut, Dr. Garcia has gone to bed, which which is unfortunate because I thought she may have been able to join us this evening as well. I'm a big fan of the Doctor. I, yeah. uh, I listened to uh, her uh, live reads of Peter Pan, which, which, is, um, which is great because I finished work and just, you know, I, I, I put the, I run the, I step out of the office, I get, put the web services on my phone, put the headphones on, check it all in, and then, and then she always picks up and picks up and starts reading the chapter. So it's always fun for the train and the bus ride home. So I, I really enjoy the live readings of um, Dr. Garcia, and I want to say thanks personally, but... She is, uh, uh, she's actually she's not gone in to bed. bed. No. Noise, pro noise bed. professor I, needed to go to bed. Listening. But she is listening she just to us right tweeted. now. She hears you, Rowan. The oh, good. Eyes good. and ears of DS106 Radio. The men's, club, the men's club, I think, scared her away. She is oh. always on the radio. Yeah. And, yeah. And she's That's scared I... of nothing. <laughs> uh, no, no, I don't think she is. But um, uh, she she's, uh, holds up in the blue shed, which I found out about. And um, <laughs> that's that's quite interesting, too. But um, what what what's interesting also is that... Um, about the doctors, the 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 her stories particularly, they're quite personal and it's quite interesting to hear these things. You, I'm not sure if you would, if you didn't know someone, would you normally talk that way? But anyway, it's just it's quite fascinating to find out about uh, stuff and uh, and also you, about that side of America because I don't know about that side at all. And I, you know, based on that, which which I kind of do when someone checks in and says, "Yeah, I'm from this particular place." Uh, I go do a bit of a go uh, Google Wikipedia search, and I found out about Pacific Grove, which is quite nice, which I had never heard of. Yeah. And also, one of the famous people that lives in Pacific Grove, according to um, the Wikipedia stub, is another person called Gina, who writes for like all these TV shows. And I thought, hmm, a, a session. I thought to myself, I wonder if that Gina is the same Gina, but not the Doctor <laughs> Garcia, but under a different name. <laughs> And I thought that she was like masquerading as this other person. That would be <laughs> awesome. Cool. Be but I have. 
The other thing is, <laughs> Rowan, you one of the few people on for some of the best DS106 radio between me and Dr. Garcia late night when we talked that about was, on her walk home. That was terrifying because she stopped talking and said and and spoke into the phone, which was being broadcast, and I could hear as if you, she was masquerading of having a normal conversation, and she never told us what it was, but it was probably something unsavory. But That's because right. you don't say what it was, you just go, oh, my God, you just saw something. And then she'd pretend to have a conversation with you and me, the listener, but it was it was excellent. And then um, yeah. there was other great. things. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it was quality listening, and I was just sitting here, I don't know what time it was, maybe similar time now, I'm not sure, and it was just... It was very strange and it was quite enjoyable because, I don't know, it just was. Not because I'm, I'm uh, like listening to other people's conversations, but. Uh... <laughs> no, she's good. And yeah. you should hear if you have it. And I don't know if she's posted it, but she posted like a, a 12 song, a 13 song series of her childhood, which was based on a the theme, Songs to Grow By, that she come up, came up with. But she narrates these 12 songs, and it's mm. brilliant. It is brilliant mm. storytelling through song. I mean, it, mm. it's really magical. And I would highly recommend. I mean, Dr. Garcia is like a freaking layup for DS106 Radio. Like, she is it. She's on it all the time. She's totally social. She's totally all over the place. She's like, fuck you. I'm doing this. Fuck down. She doesn't care. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I think it's the sass. I think the sass. Yeah, totally. <laughs> but now I, I, I know, Doctor, you looks like you're listening. You, um, but is is the doctor's accent a West Coast accent? Is that just if we're to, just sorry to bring it back to um, the way North Americans speak? But I'm just curious if that's the the sound. Is that normal? Noise professor is a West Coast accent. I haven't heard no, um, him speak, Zach. Zach, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I haven't heard him, so maybe one time I'd like to, I don't know, hear what he has to say. But just out of curiosity, I'm always interested. Dude. <laughs> yeah. What a dude. dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's awesome. <laughs> He's very West Coast. I lived on the West Coast for seven years, Rowan, in L.A. Okay. And, right, but the the he, north northern California is a whole different species, though. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and uh, Cog Dog's going to join them soon. <laughs> Cog -Cog. I'm going crunchy, man. You are totally going crunchy. Get ready. To the Quag Dog. The Quag Dog. Quag. The Quag Dog. So my accent is that particular that you can actually reproduce it. I'm trying, but yeah, because it's, it's the A, that does, it's something with the A. It just just makes me flip my wig. I love it. <laughs> flipping, I'm flipping <laughs> Rowan Peter's wig on a regular basis, and I didn't even know it. Your wig. That's the title. That's <laughs> man. It's by default, flipper, though, Jim. It's like oh. Here's Jim, and then he says something with a with particular vowels in it, and my wig just goes nuts. It's funny. <laughs> you have no control over your fucking wig. <laughs> Look at Timmy boy. He's yawning again. You know what? As if it were like five in the morning. I know. What's wrong with you? Seriously, what is wrong with us? <laughs> Come on, Timmy Good grief. Boy. You are the glue. That holds together DS106 right now. Eight months old. When you old. go, we go. Eight months old. Eight months old. Look, Sweet. Rowan Peter is on the phone, and he's got a seven-week old. What time is it in Australia? Back it up. <laughs> Don't ask about it. <laughs> Do tell time. what time it relevant. is. That's irrelevant. Oh, it's relevant, all right. <laughs> uh, I've just been informed, thank you, Doctor, that the my accent has no homeland. Okay. Understood. Thank you. Mm. Good. Uh, thank you for answering that question. <laughs> and, well, uh, no, it's uh, eight Candy. third. No, it's uh, three past eight on a Saturday evening, evening here in Melbourne, Australia. So just in case you're wondering, to answer your question. And men, I just have to wander around the house. You might hear me, but I am listening. Don't worry. No. Hang on. Are you listening? 
I am. Please continue to talk amongst yourselves. I have to check on something. Thank you. Okay. Are you listening, Rowan? Be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you think better he's be listening, fucking listening anymore. <laughs> he's going to the water closet, man. <laughs> I just don't think he's listening. I'm not convinced. He's so damn polite, like, though, about said, it. He said, hey, Rowan, you know, I, I hurt myself. Call 911. Do you think you'd call it? You know, I thought the Canadians were nice, but Rowan has to be the most polite man I have ever met in my life. <laughs> Rowan's fucking awesome. It's amazing. I love Rowan. Me and yeah. Brian had him on, like, first thing. It was, like, early DS-106 history. And he was there, and Brian was hitting him with all these questions, and it was just whatever happened. And, and Rowan was playing along, and he was having serious fun. Going crazy. Uh, where where did he come from? I mean, how did he stumble into that? He's back. Don't get mad. Do you hear me? Upstairs? Uh oh. Uh oh. Jim's in trouble, man. I won't be. Okay. I just got reminded that in three hours I have to be at a soccer field with my son. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The O becomes an A. Or like <laughs> O becomes the A W. Soccer. Soccer. <laughs> so I gotta be at a soccer field and my wife is fucking pissed. I'm drinking my seventh beer at night. Let the record show <laughs> that Jim so unlocked she at that five she's got to drive so I don't get pulled over and get arrested. <laughs> I I love it. I'm, a, I'm an American <laughs> Right? That's what we do in America We're free I <laughs> don't understand that So your wife yanks your chain <laughs> They don't understand true freedom <laughs> Soccer field's not You, know? you have to drive to the soccer field I thought soccer Germans. Like We didn't get two taken over by the Germans Fucking Italians <laughs> Excuse me, man. Yes. Yeah, sorry to interrupt, and I'm, I'm back in front of the pooter. I oh, so just, you're uh, listening again? I am, sorry. I, I, I've come back, but it's, I have to go. But um, hopefully I can... Uh, what? Well, I, I, I'm sorry. You have to, I have go? to go? Man. I have to it's leave this conversation, unfortunately. But fortunately, uh, that means I get to eat. And spend time with Alex and my wife, so that's excellent. The roast pork is done, so it's Wonder. now yeah, time for me to leave. <laughs> delicious. So Dude, enjoy this the is pork, an man. That's it. I will, and this is an open invitation to anyone, obviously, who l is listening, and also to you men I'm having a conversation with. Anytime you come to Melbourne, come on down and hang out, and that'll be fun. So um, please do. And hopefully I catch you on another Skype call uh, in the future. And Absolutely. Dr. Garcia, and a very good night to you as well, Doctor. Thank you. And See everyone you else. Listen. See you, Rowan. Yeah, thank you very much. Rowan, we love Cheers. you. I love DS you too. Say DS106 for life. Uh, DO... <laughs> wait, wait. DS106 for life. Mothers! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Right. Love it. Good Cheers. night, Rowan. Yep. Hey, Good Kai night, Gold, Timmy. You're off the hook yeah. now. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Jim. Timmy boy. Thanks yeah, for dialing me up. No problem. Good night, Rowan. Guys, bye now.